I'm an idiot. I'm like a forgetful bee. Develop by crows, crows, crows. Lots of crows. We, <laughs> we do this again. Mm -hmm. We do this again. Thank you, Super. You're a legend. Nice stream, I said it's 11.59. Yeah, a big scammer. Unfortunate. Quite unfortunate. Hopefully that works. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, maybe. Maybe, probably. Go down. Bam, bam. Yeah, and then we set it to long run mode. Oh, okay. Bruh. Bruh. Whatever. Oh, whatever. We sure then. When Stanley sure. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. If you say so. Yet there, there was, was not a single, single person, person here either. either. Feeling, Feeling a wave, wave of disbelief, disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to it. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. But Stanley just couldn't do it. Imagine I got, Wait, like, the short hall again. Am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? How is that possible? They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. Is that like a raw dialogue? When Stanley came to a set That's of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. But eager to get back to business, Stanley yeah, took okay. the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Stanley had now gotten himself so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far. You didn't think I was actually just a recording, did you? What a silly and trite explanation that would be. All the back and forth between you and me, all the absurd adventures we've been through, and it all turns out I'm just a tape recording? It was all just in Stanley's head. I bet that's the kind of twist you think is revelatory. I bet each and every time you watch a movie where it turns out all to be in the main character's imagination, you must absolutely bolt off the couch in pure shock at the phenomenal and intricate storytelling. It must be so simple to be you. Life being an unending waterfall of surprises and delights. How much more exciting you must find the world than the rest of us do. <sighs> Now I've become sad. Look what you've done to me. This is all your fault. Gumbo gumbo. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps, Perhaps he had simply missed the memo. memo. Oh, new content? What, what does, does that, that mean? mean? New content. <laughs> And thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. 
please step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's Make just the beginning of a mesmerizing yeah. adventure. Yeah. The one thing I don't like about uh, any percent of people in there is like the um, RNG at the start. What's going or, on here? Should we? Well, really at the start, but just like you know. Or, uh, oh, there we go. All right, finally, at like long last, here. it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Otherwise, this is an awesome speed game. Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe mostly tedious. Yeah. It's as if them. Um, oh, okay. So I have like Let's mostly just like. Give me the content, Stanley. So I mostly just like stuck to aisles. All right. All right. Let's see. It's the jump circle. Is is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else for goodness. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new yeah. content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. <sighs> it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley Parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? Whoa. Psst! Stanley! Come over here! In the vent! I want to show you something! Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past, and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special, and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. I call it the Memory Zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stan... And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10, 10 out of 10, 10 from, from Destructoid.com. Destructoid James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote... Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game Wait, another, ever created. Like, um, what's Did you it? hear that, Stanley? Every another, game another, ever like, created. That's how bar. grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim, it was Persona 3, it was all of them, and now it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content.
Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games, and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone, to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Oh, these were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't uh, give yeah. to go back to have it all over again. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's being collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? That one was that words. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always yeah, thought the game's it? dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh dear, what an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps, what's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. And here it is. No way Super Speedy is playing the Stanley Parable colon space you were only alerts. frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long rambling monologue for <laughs> Well there, Sport, you really, really did, did catch, catch me rambling, rambling on a bit, didn't, didn't you? you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption... Okay, Hello. welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45... Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, yeah, please don't message. push the button again! Whoa. It's been 12 hours! You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're... Oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back! Oh my goodness, I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I I think it's been a week. Or two weeks. Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us. Who messaged you? I don't know. It was this person with like a gold bar as their profile picture. didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny it was meant to have a point it was meant to speak to the human condition but where are the jokes where are the jokes they bemoaned they screamed they gnashed
the end is never 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 the end is No, no, not yet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. I know what to do out here, I just like walk in mostly any direction. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps, Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. memo. Oh good, you notice my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience, built from the ground up. Why, there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all Oops. work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Ah! Collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them and then you move the hell off. Oh, okay then. I guess God, it, it really will is the worst. Everything in a video game, and then they give you a big 
Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? Oh, goodness, um, Stanley, this is fairly awkward. I hate to do this, but before you leave, you really should go to the bucket exhibit. You see, there's a surprise I was going to spring on you later, and it involves the bucket. And I really do hate to break the illusion, but it's important that you go see the bucket, okay? All right, I'll get out of your hair now. No? You're just going to ignore my advice? Fine. No fun new content for you, then. You're so Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together and we'll Hello, see discipline. whether or not it coheres into a meaningful well, gameplay planet. experience. There's a plane, there's a planet. Maybe it's there's okay. a plane TV. Are you it's ready? like a big TV. Here thing. it is. I Holy give you fudge. the Stanley Anyways, Parable too. Hello. Hope you're doing well. Stanley Parable. Um well, um, I mean there's potential here, right? It's sort of okay, never mind. Um, Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. I oh, yeah, super once okay, um yes. once I do yes, this. This is much better. Once I do this, how much how many times do I have to reset the game? Two. Or do I just like because I know I have to reset the game here, but like, how many Who times do I have to do Stanley? it? This isn't a coherent it twice video game at all. It's a lot times. of gags, and I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. You don't know. I wanted fans to love it, That's no matter fair. how good these gags are. They won't stand on their own. They would need the structure That's and the okay. gameplay okay. of the original. Don't, don't worry too Wait. much about it. Maybe I can just it. make stuff up on I the fly. I can take the original okay. Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly I just have to reset either I twice could, or three times. But it would times. need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, oh, yeah. this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, perfect. You Go need ahead. sleep there. Take a look. Okay. Um. Yeah. Um. Uh, where's Steam again? Here's Steam. Okay, he says it's 1201. I don't know why I delayed that, but. Doesn't matter how many times I reset. Um, well, as long as I do it five times, I think. But I was, I was just like checking to make sure if like, there was like a specific way to do it. Like if we think like twice here and then three times the next would be optimal. I think, um, I don't know that, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if it's actually five times or if I'm just ma making up an, I mean I am making up a number, but, or if I'm just like, lying. Oh, I'm stupid, I for I like forgot to... Yeah. If you do three now, I can go chat the world record for you. Oh, I was just planning on doing it twice, though. So. Yeah, I'll do it thrice. <laughs> I'll do it thrice. Well, three times, or whatever. Maybe it is three times. Uh, this is like um, going crazy.
Okay, and then after the collectibles, I reset again, I think. Let's let's begin the game again like six times. Oh well, yeah, because like gone. um, what's what it? What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Because Perhaps they try to like get to, to try to get like, the short hole, I think. When Stanley came to a set of two open, open doors, doors, he entered, entered the, the door, door on his left. left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave, wave of disbelief, disbelief. Stanley and decided to go up, up to his, his coming to a staircase. Office. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I think that's what you do. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps, Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he, he entered, entered the, the door, door on his left. left. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Another miniature Stanley figurine. This, um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Stanley figs? Or um, what about Stanlerines? Yes, I think I like that. Another Stanlerine under your belt. Stanlerines. <laughs> yeah. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. Yeah, I've done the slider one. He stepped one. into the newly opened... Well, at least the one where, like, they get, get, like... Yeah, the one where they get, like, a million All sliders. All workers were gone. What could it mean? Like, the million Stanley yes no decided questions. to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I've done but I've done that. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly One more a time room then, worth okay. admiring. But eager to get back, back to, to business, business Stanley, Stanley took the first, first open, open door, door on his, his left. left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. What category is being right? 8% glitchless. Um... I need to, like, plug the cable in for my headphones, because, like, they've been, like, on, like, low battery for the past little bit. Hello, Super, again. Hope your bed is very comfortable. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided Ooh, to go to the meeting room. Perhaps bomb he had simply missed a memo. I don't know if it is. I don't know if it is anymore. But that was like Luwik and Uru. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not Those the correct the two way to the meeting room. For Uru and, and Stanley bomb knew it perfectly well. I don't know Perhaps if he wanted to stop now. by the employee lounge first. Because I did like a dictionary update. It. Wow. Yes. The most comfortable bed this in your house. That's huge. But eager to get back to business. Stanley took, took the first, first open, open door, door on his left. left. Stanley was so bad at following oh, directions, directions, it's incredible he wasn't, wasn't five years, years ago. ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your, your enemy, enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you. What? Really? I was, I was in the, in the middle, middle of something. something. Do you, you have zero, zero consideration, consideration for, for others? others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, 
I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Okay, um, hopefully. Okay, yeah, it's on. Nice. Stanley, I'm sorry, but I have to put a pause on things. It's just, it's those figurines, those figlers. I haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? Didn't it fill you to the brim with inner richness? Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? I would love nothing more than to revisit the figurines just one more time. The hell is that getting in my face? <laughs> oh my god. Pleading. I am. Um, it's it's pleading. It it's pleading began. underscore face. The first I think. Collectible. Back then, we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. Sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. And here was a second Stanlerine. I'll be honest. Back then, I had no faith in you to find any of them, let alone six. But you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. Okay, let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Can you remember? Hey, that's exactly right. It was here in the boss's bathroom. It was the third one. You picked it up, and then after that, you had three of them. I'm glad these moments are so crystal clear in your memory, but I shouldn't be surprised. After all, science tells us that it's impossible to forget your third time doing anything. I forgot that opened outwards. Let's see, what came next? Oh yes, we found a figly in this pink room. Oh well, I can't actually say I remember being in this room, but it's here in the memory zone, so it must have happened. This was the fifth mini stand, and this one was really something special. It was in the warehouse. I remember it so clearly. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the occasion. Enjoy. Ready, stand five. Full large of victory. <sighs> Takes you back, doesn't it? I spent a lot of time making that video, but it was eight minutes I wouldn't have spent on anything else. We love Mini Sun 5. And then, Stanley, the gets then we came it. to the last collectible, the final figurine, right here by the red and blue doors. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind, perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. Who can truly say how the mind works? All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all of them. They're all collected. It was a moment unlike any other, except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. I don't think this is like, um, spectacular pace. And then there was no more. Because we've caught up to the present moment. Like, I don't think Nothing this is like a 38 do, pace or 39 pace, but it's probably like 40 future. pace, maybe. Goodbye, I, don't know. I don't know. Uh, no, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Stop the loading screen. Isn't there some way we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just go backwards. We'll do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. See how that feels. Okay, yes, the room with the red and blue doors. I remember this. 
I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's keep going, I want more. And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video we watched? I got stuck. Yes, I love that video. Still don't remember the pink room, Stanley. Still no memory of this one. Good room, though. A solid room. These really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been Maybe any kind five, of reward two. for finding all of these, it really would have Blood muted the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. Next one. Yeah, true. This was our second figly. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember it too. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Keep going. This is it. The very first one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figlerines. Oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? Look, it's the terrible new content that we were originally sold on. I remember hating it back then. The time does... Oh, yes! The two doors! Who could have forgotten that? A classic memory, this one. And before everything else, there was your office. Wait, do you reset here? Or do you, else? like... Was there something that came before your office? There's something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. This might be a 3x. No yes, way. I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. See, but do you then, reset was, here, or do you just say what is cutscene? I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. Because I, I was feel skeptical. like I weighed each decision with prof. Reset after decision, so it's like this. Or do I like um? Yes. Okay, then. Thank you. Uh, go to menu. And then go to desktop. If I like, if this like sets me back two minutes, and I'll be deeply sad. But it's okay because uh, it should work. Why is it at 120 frames now? Reaver Tuner is at 60 frames. This stinks. Oh, never mind, it's set to 60 now. Okay then, sure. But I was at 120 for like 5 seconds and then just set back to 60. Whatever. It should work. So you're saying that like now like the epilogue should appear? Why is it 120 frames allowed? I don't know. Something to do with like the end game timer. Room. Yeah, epilogue. That's good. Something about the in-game timer, I think it was. Frozen webcam. What? I love frozen webcam. So this should be like a 39 or a 40 bin, maybe. Yeah. 
when I could, probably. Probably I would. Maybe. Yeah, there's like a 39, I think, because it takes two and a half minutes, maybe, I think. I know it takes a minute from hitting the computer to end the run, though, so... Whatever it is, then. <laughs> what? Whatever. Bam, 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 bam. World records gone by the way. That is incredible. And now Super PB is Super's PB is gone. Well, truly these banger tunes, crazy. Yeah. Was these bunks killed run? Yeah. <laughs> Hello again. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. <laughs> yeah. What? I just I just heard like a button hit. Did you? What? You hear these button presses. Thirty nine twenty nine, yo large. Bow 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 bow. Huge. 